But it's hard to get anybody to believe it if they're not in the middle of it. Right. I think about what the Word says. That the children of Israel had fell away because the elder elders is what had seen the Red Sea open up. Their elders had seen these things that come to pass and they did not. So they was able to serve idols and different things and that infuriated the Lord because He had already had put that freedom in front of them. But I'm telling you something, church, without the Lord, you won't make it. Just, you, you won't make it. The Bible says in John chapter 10, if you try to come in in any other way but through me, you're a thief and you're a robber. That's exactly right. God's good. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. I got Sister Jennifer to sing that song. I know that. I believe that you ought to be able to muster up the Holy Ghost without a song. I believe that with all my heart. But the Word says sometimes we have to be understand what the Word says and be reminded. But he said that cross would be hard to bear. Amen. He said that sister carrying heavy bears. Heavy carries. Amen. So I, I, I want you to be encouraged. Sometimes when we preach and we teach and some people say, well, my God, I, I don't know if I want to get involved with church or not if there's going to be a battle in the midst of it. But if you like winning, that's all I know how to put it to you, I like to win. Yes. I like to see smiles on people's face. And uh, you can win with Jesus. My God. But go to your Bibles, uh, Jeremiah chapter 10, or 17, excuse me, I'm sorry, verse 10. I'll get it out of my mouth in a minute. Uh, in the name of Jesus. A good Bible lesson today. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 10. I'm just going to read that one verse. And the word says this, I the Lord searched the heart, and I tried the reins, even to give every man according to his ways, and according to the fruit of his doings. Lord God, as we come before you today, Jesus, I just thank you, Lord, for the word. Lord, I thank you, Lord God, that we allowed to assemble together, Lord God, and lift your name up, Jesus, that we be in one mind in one accord today, Lord. There is none like you. You are a mighty strong tower, Lord God. We praise you with everything that we have, Lord God. We see the evidence of you moving, Lord God, with this baby Jew, Lord God. Lord God, we know the evidence of your power because we hear testimony, Lord God. There is no more cancer, Lord Jesus. For you are true and mighty to your people, Lord God. And we thank you today, Lord. And Lord God, I ask you right now to anoint the word, Lord. Anoint me, Lord, that I would bring it across, Lord God, that your people will grab a hold of it today, Jesus. Lord God, and let it be food today, Lord God, for their soul. Mighty God, mighty God, in your name, Jesus. In your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. And God, good. Hallelujah. He's mighty, mighty church. You can be seated. You need to run the aisles, run the aisles. Amen. But I want you to get in this word with me today about this reigns. Amen. That the Lord tries the reigns of his people. Even to the, said the Bible says and, uh, that he searches the heart and tries the reigns. I, I got kind of stuck on that and I. I begin to dig. There's several places. There's 15 places in the Bible where the word reigns is given. Amen. And believe it or not, it ain't got nothing to do with a horse. Amen. It ain't nothing got to do with a horse. But I looked up the English dic uh, the, the the term for uh, in the English dictionary for the word reigns, and it is to guide and to check. Amen. So it's to guide and to check. But even looking at that, because that's what's actually the English definition was to give uh, about that's what them reins on the horse is, is to guide and check him and keep him in, in line. But that ain't in the scriptures that, that I'm going to give you today and preach to you. Ain't got nothing to do, Sister Karen, about guiding and checking. 
So I went and began to dig some more and got into the, the Bible version of the definition, amen, of the word reigns and what it meant, amen. And the more you dig in the Hebrew of it, the deeper you can get, but the word reign comes from, as crazy as this may seem, Amen. The Bible talks about it and where they get this. This may be getting in the theological side of things, but it's talking about the kidneys and the human being because the kidneys is what I read is in the middle of the human body. So, so back in Hebrew time, they would they called it the reins. Amen. They wanted to get in the soul and the right. deepest part right. of the emotions of, of 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 what of the human race. Amen. Is what. <laughs> This definition means, and, and the word range means deepest emotions of the soul. Amen. They took the kidneys and they said because the kidneys, what I read, had the, had the two tubes go to the bladder. Amen. That would be the what uh, 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 controls it. And I asked Sister Jennifer just how. Amen. That's because my mind gets to wondering how, my God, how did the Hebrew nation take kidneys and make soul out of that, make that the deepest thing. And so I asked Sister Jennifer how kidneys actually work this morning. So trying to get my mind wrapped around what the Lord was trying to say. Amen. When he said he would try the reins, he'd search the heart. Amen. And he would try the reins of every man, every woman in that live for him. Amen. And search out that soul. But Sister Jennifer said that that everything went through the kidneys, the blood, and the, and, 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 and the waste is what went to the bladder, and that's what, to, amen, you, you urinate out of that kidneys kind of filter things uh, and get the poison out of the body. Amen. Everybody with me so far? I mean, I know I'm not a doctor, but right. I'm trying to get you somewhere. This is going to be pretty good at the end of the rainbow here if y'all stay with me. Amen. amen. But as, as we look at this word today, I... I, I wrote down just try the reins of my heart. Do we really know, Sister Carrie, where we stand with the Lord? Sometimes we 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 ponder on the things, and I I begin just to jot down some things. I mean, we read the Bible, we study the Bible, we grab a hold of the Bible, Brother Al, and we we read it from cover to cover. And sometimes, Sister Carrie, we look and said, "My God, I need to find myself in this Word." and I'm battling this situation and I can't find it. And, and, and you begin to dig and, and, and if they made it, I know I can make it because God's no respecter of person. Amen. Everybody with me so far? Yes. Amen. Amen. So when I, I, I begin just looking, you know, we go to David because David was just a soul seeker. Yes. David wanted favor with the Lord and he would, he just got in a place with David to, or, or David got in a place with the Lord that he could really, you know, that there's nothing that uh, I don't know how to explain it. A lot of times people look at David as a king. And I know David was king, but David was much more, Sister Karen, than a king. Amen. Just so much more than a king. Yes, he was a mighty warrior, but Sister Gail, the Lord would speak to David just like he'd speak to a prophet. He just had that kind of relationship with the Lord. Yes, I mean, he had Samuel and he had Nathan there, but, and I know the Lord set that up where they would be a man of God there to be able to help the king through his trials and tribulation, but David really had had a line to the Lord. Yes. Everybody with me so far? Yes. And I'm going to get this foundation built. Y'all, I just, I was scribbling 100 miles an hour as the Lord was giving it to me, and I was trying to twist this thing around to, to get it where I can get y'all to understand what the Lord has shown to me. Right. And I may have to get around these notes and just get out here on the limb and let God be God. Amen. But I I want you to see this for what it is and, and understand it today because in Revelation chapter 2 verse 23 the Lord said, amen, that He was going to try the reins of the church of Thyteria. Amen. He was going to search out the heart, try the reins of and, and, and understand right really where the church was. So right. when we begin to look at one another today, right. when we begin to soul search, Sister Kelly, amen, yes. sometimes we wonder, my God, why am I going through this trial? Right. Why am I going through this tribulation? Why ain't life like it should be and, and things? 
Amen. But the Lord searches you and I sometimes, brother. The Bible says He wouldn't tempt you. Amen. But sometimes the Lord will give a test. Amen. And, and y'all may not see this, but as I, I was writing these things down, and it, it made a whole lot of sense uh, about the kidneys, you know, because, uh, uh, Brother Al, sometimes we eat things and, 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 and you know, and, 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 we, and we do go uh, discharge some of it off of the things that the body says, hey, I don't like this, so therefore, this is the part I'm going to keep, and this is the part that I'm going to do away with. Amen. So when the Bible set this up, when the, when the Lord set this up about trying the reins, amen, because I'm, I, I'm excited about this, and, and I pray that I'm going to get it right for you, amen, in just a minute, amen, because I don't want to give you the punchline, but it's all right, right. amen. Come on. But, but I want you to understand that the Lord, amen, looks and He puts this word out and sometimes and we swallow it and sometimes we begin to meditate on it and, and we say, well, I, I'm going to take this part of it and, and this part I'm going to kind of discharge. The Lord really didn't, didn't, didn't mean it that way. But I ain't what the Lord really means, church. Amen. If He gives it to us, amen, He wants us to hold on to all right. of it. Amen. That I, I need you to see and, and understand this because He told this uh, to Samuel when He went down there. Amen. To look uh, and to anoint David King. I know I mentioned this last week, but I, I got to mention it this week. Uh, amen. That He already looked at David. Amen. And tried the reins of, of David's heart. Because, see, He brought, uh, amen, a lion in front of David. Amen. And He brought a bear in front of David. I know I mentioned all this last week, but. I, I pray that I get this down that you would understand today how the Lord tries His people, tries the reins, not trying to tempt you by any means, but the reins is the deep, intimate uh, spirit of your soul today, the emotions of it. Are you really for me or against me? Amen. I think about Shadrach, uh, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, I don't know if y'all could understand this or not. Uh, and David, in that time when Babylon was captured away, amen, and Belshazzar Bar, amen, he went, or King Nebuchadnezzar went, and handpicked them high dollar boys out of, 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 of Israel, out of Jerusalem, and said, these are the ones that we're going to take, amen, and we're going to put them in the kingdom, amen, to benefit the kingdom for yes, us. Y'all yes, yes. Y'all, understand that? Now, something that you really got to understand, Sister Kelly, in a, in a, in a world that we live in today, boy, howdy, brother Al, we would bend like a figure eight, amen, if we knew that the Lord, that somebody would take somebody up and say, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you CEO of my company. Right. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you up, amen. And though you know that your countrymen down here is slaving and, and they ain't jacked up, I'm going to put you in a place that you would never know. Right. What it is to be discomfort. Right. Right. Think about what I'm saying for just a moment. I'm gonna get this out right, amen. I believe Satan's trying, I'm trying in the music, he's trying in this 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 message, but it'll be alright, I'm gonna get you somewhere. Amen. Because of this, amen, because the Lord tries the reins of his people. Yes, yes. He wants to know if you're gonna really when you say, Amen, you love me, amen, and you're gonna live for me sometimes. Uh, Amen. That He tests us to make sure. Amen. That we're gonna do the deed. Amen. That that um, that we're gonna do. Amen. I, I think about when Nathan went to David, and about when Nathan took. Um, amen. The wife of another. Amen. And, and 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 Nathan said, you know, the Lord said you could have had it all. I mean, you right. you could have anything you wanted. You did right. not have to right. lust after another man's wife. Church. Amen. I, I want you to understand this uh, today that the Lord puts things in between us, amen, Brother Al, that we'll, we'll look and He wants to try the reins. Uh, when right. you really, you know, I remember, um, oh, I can't think of his name, but it's all right. Um, we had um, Bible, uh, uh, vacation Bible school here one time and well, Brother Matt, amen, and, and Mama went to the back and they put a bowl of M&Ms, amen, in front of their kids. Right. big old bowl of M&M's. Right. And the commandment was this, that nobody grabbed none of them M&M's right. in the bowl. Right. I mean, they had the bowl full. Right. Right. I mean, and a thousand M&M's, you'd have never missed ten M&M's out of the thousand because they were just a wad of them. Right. 
But the commandment was they were going to leave the room and no M&M &M be missing. Right. That was the commandment. Right. But as you sit there and pondered on the thousand M&Ms, right. can you miss ten M&Ms out of the thousand? My job was to go in and con them in to take in an M&M. Yeah, just because just one. just one. You'll never miss one M&M &M out of a thousand M&Ms in that bowl. I mean, you, there's no way. To count all the M&Ms and say, you know, I took one M&M &M out of this. Think about what I just said. Mm -hmm. The it. commandment was not to fool any of it. Right. Not to take any of it. And the commandment was, we're going to eat these one night we get back. But the commandment is, is not to mess for none of the M&Ms. Though Satan, I was playing Satan at the time to come in and to coerce. Right. And Sister Gail, I even got real down and ugly with them because I began to eat the M&Ms in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was popping them left and right in my mouth. And I said, see here, I'm not getting in trouble for eating the M&M's. But them little bitty ones around that table said, ooh, Sister Betty gonna get you. <laughs> I said, well, I'm bigger, Sister that Betty. Sister Betty. And boy, there was a ooh and a nod, but the commandment was, church. And sometimes you see the Lord wants to see if you and I, He tries it, Sister Gary. He tries them deep emotions in you and I just to see, Brother Al, if we're going to live for Him or not. Oh, it would be nice. Amen. It'd all be grits and gravy all the time. Man, it would be nice, amen, that every time you said thank you, Jesus, amen, that somebody would come and say, well, preach me the Word. And, and you'd preach them the Word and they'd say, well, I want to be baptized. And man, they, we would go down there and baptize them. Man, and they would receive the Holy Ghost, man, and Boy, we on high, we on cloud nine, amen. Next week you say, well, thank you, Jesus, and it continues and it continues to happen, amen. Or even you may get promoted in your job. I mean, it just seems like in life that nothing can go wrong. It would be awesome if it was that way. But the Bible says that there's an adversary in the mix. There's some hiccups in the mix. And sometimes, boy, when it gets tough, the Lord tries the reins of your heart. He searches and makes sure. So we take old Joseph. I think some of y'all hit on some of these today. Amen. You take Joseph for a point and a moment. Amen. The, the Bible says that, that God began to use him to see dreams and visions. He was the anointed one. And I can imagine in little, little Joseph's life, I mean, my God, Jacob, I mean, loved him more than he loved any of them. I mean, he, he knew he had faith. He knew he had what he needed, Sister Kevin. Right. In that relationship, but the Lord took him and sold him. Right. Put him in bondage. Put him in prison. Right. Trying the reins of his heart. Mm -hmm. Says he loves me. Right. Says he'll never forsake me. But what Sister Crystal said is the truth. He had to be said at a time that he could save his people. Right. Make that right decision. Make that head clear. Make not not lean, lean, amen, just because. Sister Betty leaves the room and I've got a, a, a bowl full of M&Ms. And now that the coast is clear, I can eat the M&Ms though I was told not to. Right. Does that make sense? Right. Does. Sometimes we, 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 we take things and and we say, well, it just ain't fair of a life that I'm living. And it ain't fair. I mean, well, I, if anybody want to talk about it ain't fair, sometimes I, I, I have looked at that too and said, well, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand, you know, why, why things is, is so hard. But if you could see Sister Gail in the spiritual world, that adversary is working just as hard as you trying to live for the Lord. Amen. He's working just that hard against you. Amen. To defeat you. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. And the Bible says this, that the rain comes on the just, and amen, and it comes on the unjust. Amen. I'm just trying to build you a foundation. Amen. 
Amen. Because I'm going to tell you this, the word is true, amen. The word is going to hold. The Bible says, Jesus said, my word is going to be here when heaven and earth, amen, passes away. So if he said, amen, that he would never leave us nor forsake us, amen. I believe that, Sister Kelly, to the bottom of my heart, amen. I believe it too. That he's going to be here, amen, until he comes, amen, and gets his people home, amen. Amen. Yes. But when you look at what the Lord had intended, amen, for you and I, when he wanted to try us. Right. So he tried Abraham with Isaac. He tried his reign. Because he finally, Abraham finally got what he was looking for. That son, that bloodline. Right. All the way up to the point, Sister Kelly, that it was, now that I know that you love me, to the time he tied him on the altar. Right. Trying, the right, trying that deep emotions. Sometimes we look and we don't understand. My God, why? But the Bible said the Lord said He searches. He searched. Let me read it to you. I, the Lord, search the heart and try the reins. Amen. Even to give every man according to his ways and according, amen, to the fruit of his doings. Just carry that. That's that's my God. That's just a. I don't even know how to say it today, church, and make it make it right to you. But I think about Peter, and I think about what the Lord was telling Peter, because Peter was the first one that would mouth off. Peter was the one that cut the servant's ear off in the garden. Amen. Right. Peter's the one that said, "Lord, I buy for you." Right. Amen. And he was, and, and Jesus looked at Peter and said, "Peter, you're going to deny me three times." Right. Amen. You know, so the Lord was trying Peter the whole time, and the thing about, the, Amen, that the Lord knew that Peter's heart was sincere. Amen. He knew he was a high spiritual fellow. Amen. And that's why the Lord looked at him and said, "Satan desires to sift you." Amen. It's sweet, but I have prayed for you that when thou art converted, that you'll go and strengthen the brother. Amen. And I think about, amen, in the book of John, the last chapter, amen, where Peter, amen, begins to question the Lord about John, amen, and wanting to know what John's ministry is. And Jesus, in just layman terms, says, well, it really ain't none of your business, amen. I would be worried about what your calling is. Right. That's kind of what he said. And he said, well, you know, I, I just wanted to know, you know, where I stand in your kingdom. Amen, I'm just talking... Layman term here. And then that's when Jesus looked at Peter and asked him, he said, Peter, amen, do you love us thou me? So he's trying the reins of Peter, trying to search his heart out, really wanting to know, Sister Kelly, is he really going to be right. what he's supposed to be? Right. Amen. And he said, yes, Lord, you know I love you. Amen. And he asked him again that. And he said, well, feed my lambs. And on the third time, the Bible says that the Peter kind of got loud with him, kind of got a little hostile with him. And he tell him, you know, you know all things. Yeah. Because, see, he's trying his reins. Yeah. He's trying to find that deep emotion. Amen. Do you really know who I am? Are you really going to be fired up at me? Because I'm trying to get you to a place uh, that you'll go preach the day of Pentecost. That's right. I want you this fired up when you stand in front of all of them. Yes. And say, men and brothers, yes. they're not drunk today. Right. They're right. drunk on something, but it ain't loud that they're drunk on because it's the right. night power. Amen. Right. Right. Well, they've got a hold of, amen. Hallelujah, you wish you needed some of it too, amen. Yeah. Because you would be drunk and you'd be walking around acting crazy, yeah. amen, and your eyes roll back in your head if you had this new wine, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I'm trying to get you somewhere if you yeah. work with me just a minute here. Amen, but the Bible talks, amen. Bible, God made this body, amen. To where it would discharge, amen, what it didn't want, amen. And the Lord looks at you and I, amen, as he searches us, Brother Al. And sometimes we don't like it, amen, when the Lord kind of puts the cramp on us, Brother Bowen. And he begins to tighten down and tighten down and tighten down, amen. But you see, the Lord already knows. I think about what Sister Crystal mentioned sometime in the Bible about Amen, Elijah, where the Lord told Elijah to eat, amen, because the journey was long, amen. Yeah. 
We don't realize sometimes we want to have a pity party, Sister Carrie, when the Lord begins to take us and put us on the potter's wheel. Yeah. Amen. And make us go out in the wilderness. Amen. To get away from the folks. Amen. Oh. To where we can hear the voice of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. But see, he's just trying to reign, Sister Gail. And I know Satan's going to come up. My God, we was talking about it in the adult class. Amen. That Satan's going to try to beguile this and beguile that one. He's going to try everything, Sister yes. Kelly, that he can. Wow. Amen. But the Lord said, I will be with you That's way right. to the end. I will yes. be there long to the end. I will be there. Amen. But sometimes that Satan comes up and does some things to you and I. Amen. And we'll say just like, where is this God at that I serve? Amen. Right. Where is this Jesus at? Amen. It was hot and heavy in church Sunday. My God, and it's Tuesday and I feel like I'm all alone. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's tough, ain't it? And sometimes we think, let me make sure I think I need to just put this thing back. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, God is good, y'all. Amen. But when you when you look at this, I, I need you to see this with me today. But sometimes I do read too much, and that's all right. But I, I can see. You know, there was a joke one time about the guy who wanted to borrow $20. And he had a friend that asked him, man, can I borrow $20? Sure, I can give him borrow $20. He asked him every day for that $20. And Brother Bo, he asked him one day when he knew he had the $20. And all of a sudden, the fella couldn't let him borrow $20 because he had it. But all the days, I ain't married that he didn't have the 20 he was willing to let him borrow the 20 right. because he didn't have 20 to give him. That's exactly right. But the day that he had a pocket full of money, he didn't want to give him the $20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, we love it when the, the, when the spirit is moving. Right. My God, we'll leave his house to Georgia Pine. Right. Man, we love it when the Lord comes. We come back Wednesday night and the Lord just continually just blowing the light. Man, we, we hide the Georgia Pine. We love it that way. But I find out when it begins to cost you and I something. Right. Sister Carrie, when I really find out, amen, we really going to have to begin to walk. A straight and narrow path. Woo! When the Lord really begins to find out, Brother Al, do we really, do we really love Him? Are we really settled down and know that we're in the will of the Lord? I think about what the Word says about Abraham. There was one time the Bible says that the Lord spoke to Abraham and it was 40 years before the Lord spoke again. Right. Sister Kelly, 40 years. I'm 49 years old. So if the Lord spoke to me this morning, Brother Al, what if it will be 89 years old, Miss Angie, before the Lord spoke to me again that I really felt the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Come on! When I walked these 40 years hot and heavy for Him. Right. Come on. Having my reins tried. My heart searched. Come on. I really believe this. Because I didn't feel him when I was 49. Now that I'm 59. Now that I'm 69. I ain't, I ain't got nothing since I was 49. Do right. I still believe it's real? Right. Do I still right. believe he'll never leave me nor forsake me? Do I still believe at the end of the rainbow church that he's coming out of the eastern sky for yes. me? Yes. That if I, they bury me tomorrow, amen, that I know that my soul will be in paradise and he tells me to go home with it. The Bible said to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Right. Ain't that what Jesus told the thief? Amen. He said, this day, right. you'll be with me in paradise. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Searching the heart, Sister Gabe. 
I know this may be a little deep and a light normal here for some of us, but I'm here to tell you right now. Sometimes we get caught trying to discharge what the Lord's given us. Jennifer, sometimes we want to reject. Let's say it the Lord. I, I just think about there's some stories in the Bible you can go and they instructions was given and 75% of the instructions was done but them 25% wasn't and it cost somebody their life. Right, right. Right. That's right. That's salvation. I think about when David tried to go get the ark of the Lord out of Abinadad's house. Right. Right. I go back and I read that story from time and time again. Right. I want to make sure I say this before I make this comment. Brother Al, I read that story and I go back and I read it again. I want to make sure before I make a statement on it. But I never find out anywhere the Lord moved him. Right. Go get it. Right. The word come to David said everything in that house is flourishing. Right. That's right. And that's what he wanted it. Mm -hmm. he knew that flesh it. got in the way then. Right. Right. Things down there happened and the art of, this is Right. This is the city of David. Right. I'm the man that loves the Lord. Right. I'm going to get that. Yes. <laughs> you ever read it? Mm -hmm. yes. You'll never you, you'll never hear the Lord saying, David, go down there to the house that they have and get that. Mm -hmm. You never read that. Mm -hmm. But buddy, the first time word come to David, things was happening down the road. Right. The Bible said David saddled up the priest. Mm -hmm. He said, love the young men. Boys, we're going to get that. Right. That belongs in the city of David. Right. But it costs a man his life. Right. right. Because you can get out of the will of the Lord. That's all right. You can get your reins tested. Yes. Heart ain't in the right place. Right. Kid. Boy, that's hard. That's hard preaching, ain't it? But that's just the truth. It is the truth. The Bible said David was upset with the Lord. Went back home, upset. I can't believe you done that, God. Can't believe you done that. And Lord, I hear Lord say, I can't believe you was ignorant enough to go down there and get it without asking. Yeah, right. That's sacred. That's holy ground. That's right. I know you can, and I know you love me, but they just place that I draw the line to who can take that. Amen. That's right. Reject. Because that covenant had not yet been changed. That's right. Come on, somebody. Amen. You know that. If the Lord says do it this way, it's going to be done. That's right. 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 See, them kidneys wants to discharge what it don't want. Right. The body. right. Now, hear what I'm saying? Yes. So that's why, amen, the Lord, <laughs> my God, set it up to try you to search your heart. Mm -hmm. Your heart may say one thing. But he'll try you just to see if that heart's telling the truth. Mm -hmm. See if you'll discharge off. I ain't got to have all that. Yeah. We see it all the time. We, what, we baptized 14, 15 people in the last month. Right. <coughs> right. Let's just be honest today. Right. How many of them's here? Right. One wants to love the Lord. Right. Be honest. Right. The seeking his face. Trying to rain. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. But some is is told. Some is told. Well, if you just get baptized, you got this thing. Well, you got it with. Amen. You got it with. But here's the thing about it. Let me finish this part. I, I'm, I know it seems like I'm everywhere. But the Bible says this when David asked the Lord. How he was supposed to approach that ark and go back and get it, he was able to successfully go get it. Right. And if y'all remember correctly, the Bible said he'd take them steps and they stopped and, and David would dance before the Lord. Right. They walked a few steps and he would dance before the Lord. That's the way the Lord wanted it brought in. Right. He's got to ask. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. Trying your reins today. Brother Al, it's tough to ask the Lord of Christ. Right. This is what David said. I said, I said, I said, I said. Let me tell you what David said. David said this in Psalm 139. 
Search me, O God. And know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way of everlasting. That's Psalms 139, 23, and 24. As many times if you'll read them Psalms, that's what David would say, search me, try me. I want to make it. I don't want to take and discharge any of this that you give me. I want it to saturate in my body because that's what Jennifer says that the kidneys filter. Because I said, well, I thought, you know, when somebody goes on kidney dialysis, that they you take your blood out and clean it and stick it back in. You know, I thought, I didn't know if the blood run through the kidneys or how that worked. But you want what the Lord gives you to circulate you inside and out. Amen. To circulate. We don't want to discharge anything that the Lord gives us. Y'all hear what I'm saying today? You don't want, Sister Kelly, you don't want that discharged out of your body. No, you don't. And I, in Bible dictionaries I give you, y'all find that word reigns and you'll find where I'm talking about. Mm, the but they consider the kidneys being middle ways of the body, so that was the inner parts. That was the deepest part as they could claim that. <coughs> being the deepest emotions of the soul. Amen. You and I, amen, are the one our reigns tried today by the Lord. Try me and search me. Know that I'll be true to you. Let's stand if you can. I ain't going to hold you long.